Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel TechuCode Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more of this content for you and for your placement preparation. Alright, also guys, till now we have covered lots of video about exchange preparation and now most of you have already done with your exchange exam, right? Now, most of you are requesting me to make content for Tech Mahindra preparation. So, this video is about Tech Mahindra preparation. From now, we would be starting Tech Mahindra preparation, right? With the help of my videos, many students got placed in exchange, right? So, from today onwards, we will be uh, practicing of Tech Mahindra questions. So, let's start with the today's video. So let's move on to the PPT now. Okay, so let's head over to the question. So this is the first question. So our series is just a minute. 4, 18, question mark, 100, 180, 294 and 20. Right. So let's try to uh, make some pattern and then we will be finding the answer. So what we can do is we can take 2 raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 2. So, what it will give to us? So, it will become 8 minus 4. So, it will become 4 only. Now, here what we can do is 3 raised to the power 3 minus 3 raised to the power 2. So, what it will become? It will become 27 minus 9. So, it will become 18 only. Now, if we take 4 raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power 4. So, it will become 64 minus 16. So, it will become 48 Right, so let's follow the same pattern and if we found 100, then 118, then 294, so we can say that this 42 should be the answer, right? So let's make out some pattern, 5 raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 2, so it will become 125 minus 25, so it will become 100, so it is following till now. Now, 6 raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power 2, so what it will become 216 minus 36. So, it will become 180 only. Now, again, 7 raised to the power 3 minus 7 raised to the power 2. So, it will become 243 minus 7, 7, 49. So, it will become 294. Sorry, it should be 343, right? It should be 343. So, it will become 294. Yes, yes, 294. Okay. So, from here we can see that the pattern is here only like this cube minus the square, right? x cube minus x square. This is the pattern here. So, 48 will be the correct answer over here. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So, let's move on to the next question now. Next question is, find the number which would come in place of question mark. 11 tends to 121, then 15 tends to. So, we can see that 11, if we do 11 squares, so we will get 121. So, here we just need to find out the square of 15, right? So, square of 15 is 225. 225 will be the correct answer over here. So, let's move on to the next question now. Next question is, the average of Sohan's marks in 6 subjects is 74. If his average in 5 subjects excluding science is 70, how many marks he obtained in science? Okay. So, from here we can see that we have given with the average of 6 subjects. And what it is? It is 74. So, we can conclude that the total, the total of marks of 6 subjects will be, uh, total of 6 subjects, right? Total marks of, total marks of 6 subjects. So, what it will become? It will become six, uh, 74 into 6. So, it will become 4, 4, 4 only. Now, if his average in 5 subjects excluding science is 70. So, if we take science separately and we found the average of 5 subjects. So, it will become 70. So, let's find out the total marks in 5 subjects excluding science. Right? In 5 subjects. So, what it will become? It will become 17 to 5 because we have been excluding the one subject which is science. So, it will become 5 and it will become 17. So, it will become 3, uh, 350. 
so we can find out the science marks so it will become 444 minus 350 so 4 and then from here so we can conclude that 94 is the science marks so 94 will be the correct answer we have I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is again from average. Average is a very important topic for a placement, right? One or two questions will be there and the question will be super easy. You just need to uh, use your mind, right? Now, the average weight of 10 men is decreased by 2 kilogram when one of them Whose weight is 60 kilogram is replaced by a new man. Okay, so there were there were 10 men and their average weight will be decreased by 2 kilogram if we replace a man by a new man whose weight is 60 kilogram. Alright, now what is the weight of the new man? So, new man, the one who replaced the previous one, the previous 60 kilogram was a person who replaced that so the new man weight is so from here we can see if 10 men average weight is decreased by 2 kilograms so we can conclude that the total weight will be decreased by 20 because there are 10 men and this is the average weight which is decreasing so we can find out that the total weight that will be decreased will be 10 into 2 will become 20 kilogram and we are replacing this by 60, right? We are replacing the previous one man by 60 kilogram. Whose weight is okay? So one who was 60 kilogram will be replaced by a new man. Okay. Now, so what should be the uh, what should be the weight of the new man? So it will become 60 minus 20 only. So it will become 40 kilogram. I hope it. Uh, I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. Why? Because there were 10 men and these average weight will be decreased by 20 kilograms. So we can conclude that the total weight will be decreased by 20 because there were 10 men. So we will be multiplying by 2. Right? Now we have replaced 60 kilogram wala person with some new person. Okay. So what will be the weight of that person? So that person weight will be 60 minus 20 that means 40 kilograms. Right, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is, a boy was asked to multiply a number by 25, but by mistake he multiplied by 45. Okay, so the answer must be increasing, right? The answer must be increased because we have to multiply by 25, but by mistake we have multiplied by 45. So the answer must be increased. Why? Because 45 is greater than 25. Right. Now, and the answer was 200 more than the correct answer. Of course, it will be uh, varying because we have to multiply by 25, but we have multiplied by 45. So, the answer must be increased. Now, it has given already the 200. Okay. 200 is the difference of the actual answer and the uh, corrupt answer. Right. So, what was the number actually? So, there is a formula we can say, like the increased uh, count, so it is the increased count, 200. And the faulty count, the faulty number was 45 minus the actual number, so it is 25. 200 upon 20, so it will become 10. So 10 will be the actual number, right? So, I hope it makes sense. So let's move on to the next question. Next question is from ratio and proportion. So the ratio of the ages of Minu and Mira is 4 ratio 2. So this is the age of Minu and this is the age of Mira. Not age, this is the ratio. Okay, so 4 ratio 2. So if Mira is of 2 years, then Minu will be of 4 years. Okay. Now if the sum of their ages is 6 years. Okay, so we have given the ratio of these age, not the actual age, right? We have given the ratio, uh, the sum of age is 6 years. So, let's consider, like, if Minu age is 4x and Mira's age is 2x, so we can say that if we, uh, if we add them also, we will get 6 because we have already given that if the sum of their ages is 6 years. So, from here, we can see that 6x will be 
thick so x will become one only right so from here we can find out the actual age of meena and meera so meena will be of four years by putting the value of x equals to one and meera will be of two years only right now find the ratio of their ages after eight years so after eight years meena will become four plus eight this is meera and this is sorry this is meenu and this is meera and meera will become two plus eight so it will become eight and four twelve and eight and two ten so it will become six ratio five so this will be the ratio after eight years Six ratio five option number B will be the correct answer over here. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is twelve hundred boys and eight hundred girls appeared in an exam. Okay, so there are total two thousand students. All right. If sixty percent of the boys and forty percent of the girls passed in the examination, what is the percentage of candidates who failed in the examination? So in this question, we have given that this is the past candidates. This is the criteria, or this is the percentage of the candidates who have already passed the exam. Now we have to find out that how many students. Okay, what percentage of students or what percentage of candidates failed in the exam? So from here we can see if sixty percent of the boys have passed the examination, so must be forty percent of the boys will be failed, right? So the total count of boys was twelve hundred. So we will find the fail percentage. So forty percent of the boys are failed. So forty percent of the boys. So boys count is twelve hundred. All right. Now we will add it. Okay. Yeah. Now if forty percent are girls have been passed, so sixty percent must be failed in the examination, and sixty percent of what? Girls count, so it will become eight hundred. So let's find out the percentage. So it will cancel it out, right? So it will become four eighty, and it will become four eighty only. So it will become nine sixty, right? So this is the Count of failed candidates. These are total failed candidates. Now the total count of candidates for two thousand, right? Now we have to find out the percentage. So nine sixty is the failed candidate, and two thousand will be the total count. And into hundred for finding the percentage. So let's cancel out it, and let's cancel these all two. So it will become forty eight. So forty eight percent students were failed in the examination. And fifty-two will be passed in the exam. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is from verbal ability, and it's a pretty simple question based on the logic of it. So if chef is related to restaurant, then what should be the option here that should be correct? So if chef is working in restaurant, then doctor is working in treatment. No, treatment is the work of doctor, but The doctor will work in hospital only, so this cannot be the correct answer. Driver will be work in the car? No, it's not like that, right? Teacher will be working in a school, right? So it will be the correct answer over here. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is if paw is related to cat, so what does paw mean? Paw means so the panja, pair ka panja, right? Foot, feet, and hoof. So hoof means so the head hoof. Actually. Uh, it will consider for animals' feet, right? So hoof will be related to horse. Horse, horse has the hoof, right? So let's move on to the next question. Next question is from blood relationship. Okay, looking at the portrait of a man, Mohan said, "His mother is the wife of my father's son, and I have no brother and sister." Okay, so let's uh, let's. Uh, uh, Segment it all. Okay, so let's make some segments of this question. Then we will be solving this question. Now, how we uh, how how can we break down this question? Like Mohan said, my father's son, right? So first of all, let's consider Mohan. This is Mohan only. Now Mohan is saying that the man 
is the son of my of my father's son. He is still talking about his father's son. Okay, and he all he have already said that he he don't have any brother and sister. So this is Mohan, and this is father, right? I am writing as Papa, right? And he must be male, and Mohan is also male, and Mohan don't have any kind of sibling like not brother and not sister. Mohan is alone. So what he is saying that in the portrait. the man in the portrait is his mother is the wife of my father's son so my father's son it means mohan only is the wife of that means the lady should be the wife of mohan only right so i am writing his wife and she must be the female candidate right now his mother is the wife of so if she is the wife of mohan and his mother so that person in the portrait should be the son of mohan right if this lady is the mother of that uh, portrait man and she is the wife of mohan so the man in the portrait will become the son of mohan only all right i hope it makes sense so he will be the son of mohan only so his son will be the correct answer over here so yeah let's move on to the next question next question is from uh, like uh, distance and direction yeah Deepak placed his watch on the table in such a way that at six p.m. the hour hand points to south. Okay, so let's make the diagram. This is east. This is west. This is north, and this is south. This is east, west, north, and south. So Deepak placed his watch on the table in such a way that at six p.m. So let's draw the diagram of six p.m. Actual diagram, right? So this is twelve. This is three. This is six, and this is nine. At six p.m. So hour hand should be this, and minute hand should be like this. All right. The diagram is not straight. It's little bit uh, moving here and there. But just consider the idea of it. Right now, hour hand points to the south. So hour hand is pointing to the south. All right. So we are okay till now. In uh, now, in which direction the minute hand will point out at nine p.m. So at nine p.m. So what should be the diagram? The twelve, the three, the six, and the nine. So at nine p.m. So our hand should be the should be at nine, and the minute hand will be on twelve. Right. This is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. Now, in which direction the minute hand will point? So min uh, minute hand. Minute hand is pointing into the upper direction. That means in the north direction. So north will be the correct answer over here. So it was a pretty simple question, just based on your distance and direction knowledge, right? So yeah, let's move on to the next. The next question is data sufficiency. Again, a very important topic in logical reasoning, right? Now we have to find out, uh, like which option is sufficient to give the answer of that particular question. Right, written in the statement. Now, when is Rahul's birthday this year? Just we need to uh, give the answer of this question. Okay, either by using only first statement or by using only second statement, or we can combine them together, or we can take it uh, these alone, or if we combine them all together, but still not getting our answer, so we will mark as none of these. Right, so uh, what we need to do is just we need to answer that question. Okay, now the first statement is it is between eight March and ten March, March eight being the Wednesday. So it is between eight and ten. So it must be on ninth of March, right? So we are getting our answer from option number A, right? But still we need to check for the another option. So Because there are various kind of options for the answer, so we will look for the answer. But remember that option number one is alone sufficient till now. Okay, now if just we are considering this, just to consider that this is not in the uh, screen, this is not on the screen. This time you have to focus on the only second statement. It is not on Friday. So anyhow, we are not getting our answer like Rahul's birthday in this year, right? By seeing this line only, it's not on Friday. 
we cannot find the answer like what is the date of Rahul's birthday. So, from here we can see that we are able to give the answer by using only one statement. That is only first statement. So, what will be the answer of this? Statement 1 alone is sufficient but statement 2 alone is not sufficient. So, option number A will be the correct answer over here. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So, let's move on to the next question. Next question is again from data sufficiency. So, we need to find out the answer of that question. What is the Tom's rank in the class? Okay. So, we need to find out the Tom's rank. There are 45 students in the class. So, from here, are we getting the idea like what should be the Tom's rank or what will be the Tom's rank? No, no. So, alone is not sufficient for sure. Now, we will take B as alone. Okay. If we are not getting the answer, then what we will do? We will combine them together and we will check whether we are getting the answer or not. If we are getting, then we will mark like both of these are necessary to give the answer. If we are not getting our answer, so we can conclude that either of the two is not sufficient to give the answer. Now, what we will do? There are 45 students in the class. So, from here, we can conclude that only one is not sufficient at all. Now, let's head over to the next. 42 students scored less than Tom. So, if we consider only the option number 2 or the statement 2 only, so we cannot find out, like, we are not sure about the total count of the class. Like, how many students are there in the class? 42 students scored less than Tom. This is okay, but here we are not sure about the total count of the class. But if we combine them all together and we will say like there are 45 students in the class and 42 students scored less than Tom. So we can get the idea that the Tom is on third position. Why? Because total students are 45 and already 42 students scored less than Tom. Right. So he must be on the third position. Right. So from here we can get the rank of the Tom. So the option should be both combining together will be the correct answer over here. So both 1 and 2 are needed to give the answer of that particular question. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. The next question is from coding and decoding. In a certain code, army is written as SO. How is this written in that code? So let's find out the pattern. So, army. Army. So, let's make them count. A stands for 1, R stands for 18, M stands for 13 and Y stands for 25. So, it is written as SO. Alright. So, it will be 1, it will be 19, it will be 15 and it will become 2. So, 1 is 1 only. 18 plus 1. From here, we are getting some idea. 13 plus 2. We are getting 15 Twin, uh, in alphabet only. If we move forward, like if we add 3, 1, 2 and then 3 according to this pattern, right? So, what we will do? 26, 1 and 2 in alphabet. 1 to 26 are there, right? And how we do? 1 to 26 and 26 to 1, right? So, 26, 1 and 2. If we add 3, so what we will get? We will get as 2. This is the pattern only. So, we have find out the pattern like first number will be the first or first letter will be the first only and then from the next we will be adding 1 plus 1 plus 1. Right. First of all we will add 1, then we will add 2, then 3 and 2 and Alright. Now for judge. Uh, sorry, judge. So, J stands for 10, U stands for 21, D stands for 4, G stands for 7 and E stands for 5. So, J should be J only as we have seen that first letter should be the first letter only. Now, here plus 1. So, it will become 22. So, it will become V. So, plus 2. 4 and 2 will become 6. So, 6 stands for F. Now, plus 3. 7 and 3 will be 10. So, 10 stands for J. Plus 4. 5 and 9 will become I. Right? 9. So, it will become I. So, J, B, F, J, I. Option number B. Option number B will be the correct answer over here. 
So yeah, let's move on to the next question. The next question is if pink is coded as this. Pink is coded as 16, 9, 14 and 11. So we can see, directly see that this is I. Okay. We can directly see that P stands for 16, I stands for 9, N stands for 14 and K stands for 11 only. So these all are same. Right. So what we need to do is red. Red. R stands for 18, E stands for 5, D stands for 4. So it will become 1854. 1854 option number A will be the correct answer over here. It was a pretty simple question. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Next question is, in a certain code language, write in paper is coded as la, sa and ka. Read and write is coded as this and pen and paper is coded as this. Okay, so what does sa stand for? Okay. So this is the question from Chinese coding, again a part of coding decoding only and it is a very important topic we can see in the coding decoding. So much prepare for all. For this question, all you need to do is don't use your mind, use your eyes properly, use your eyes properly, right? So what we will do, we will write separately, I am writing here only, write in paper. How does it code as? La, sa, ka. Now, read and write. Read and write. Like ka, na, pa. Pen and paper. Pen and paper. How does it code as? Just a minute. So, la, na, so let's find out the common words. So first of all, we will see that paper is here and paper is here. So what is the common word in this line? La sa ka, la na ta. So only la is common here. So we can conclude that paper stands for la. Paper stands for la. Now, right is here, right is here. So what should be the common word? Sa or ka, or ka na pa. So it will become ka only as ka is on both sides. So right stands for, I am writing here, right stands for ka. Alright. Now, what should be the common? Now the next common should be uh, write in paper, read and write. Okay. Pen and paper. Okay. So now in in will be coded as sa. From here we can see that in will be coded as sa. And then and. And is coded as na. And is coded as na. So we have find out each and every code. Right. So we have to find out the code stands for sa. So sa stands for in. Right. From here we can see that sa stands for in. So in will be the correct answer over here. Now, you have to tell in the comment section what will be the code for write with pen. Okay? Okay, I am telling the answer to you. So, the answer should be ma, ka, ta. Now, how should it can be the answer? You have to tell in the comment section. You have to write down your solution in the comment section. I will check. Okay, so option number B will be the correct answer. But how? You will tell me. Right, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is from statement and conclusion or we can say syllogism. So here's the statement. All crows are foxes. So what we will do? We will make a Venn diagram of it. All crows. These are crows and all these crows are under in the category of fox. All cats are jaguars. Okay, so as of now we are leaving it as it is. Some cats are crows. So these are crows. So we can make it like this. Some cats are crows. And from here we can see all cats are jaguars. So we can make the diagram like this only. All cats are jaguars. Right? I am considering only J as a place of jaguar. Now conclusion. Some jaguars are crows. So these all are jaguars. And we are saying that some jaguars are crows. So, these jaguars, these jaguars 
will be the crows as well. So the option number or the conclusion first follows here, right? The conclusion one follows here for sure. Come on, coming on to the next conclusion. Some foxes are jaguars. These are foxes. This this circle is of foxes, and we are saying that some foxes are jaguars. So these these foxes in this circle will be the jaguars as well. So the option number two or the conclusion two will also follow. Okay, in every kind of diagram, you will find out that all the some of the foxes are jaguars as well. Now some cats are sorry some crows are jaguars. So these are some crows and these are jaguars. These this side are jaguars. So it is also true. So all one, two, and three will be the correct answer over here. So option number B will be the best suitable answer for this. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is the answer should be only second follows, but how? You have to tell me in the comment section, right? So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so this question is based on some picture based or we can figure based reasoning. Okay, so this is the problem figure. There are certain figures and you have to tell what should be the next figure here. Right, so okay. What we are seeing that this is a circle, then triangle, then equal, then multiplication sign. And here, these are interchanging to each other. Like circle at the place of triangle and triangle at the place of circle. Also, the cross sign will be interchanged to equal sign. Okay, the, these all will exchange their positions. Now here, okay, so here also these in in these groups only they will change their positions again, right? And then they will again change their position to each other, right? You can find the pattern like that. Now at the last, what can we see that this thing? This figure and this figure both are same. Circle, circle. Triangle, triangle. Equal, equal, x, x. Or we can say cross, cross. Right? So, the first image is repeated at the last time. So, the next should be, the next should be, the second one should be repeated here at the next. So, the same figure in this diagram. What is the same figure in this diagram? Only this, only one. So only one option number A will be the correct answer. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So it was just a play of your eyes only, right? Not uh, mind that much. You have to use your mind as well. But eyes is little more, right? So yeah, let's move on to the next question. The next question is again on problem based. Like circle and then a line. Then uh, square and two lines. Then third, circle and then arrow. Okay, so we can see that there is a circle, there is a circle, there is a line, but there is an arrow, right? Now, what should be the next? Like, the next should be the square only. I'm not very good at drawing, so uh, consider it as a square, okay? And these two, like this. And what we will do? We will make it as an arrow. So, it's kind of this diagram. So, option number four will be the correct answer over here. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is again from verbal ability. And you have to check the spelling. Which spelling is correct? So these spellings for questionnaire. That means like uh, kind of survey or some kind of theory. Right? Questionnaire. So the correct spelling of questionnaire. So here the correct of, uh, correct spelling for questionnaire is option number A. First is question, then nair, right? So this is questionnaire. So option number A will be the correct answer over here. Now let's tell the uh, correct spelling of surveillance. So the correct spelling for surveillance is option number three. Sir, then island. So it will be surveillance. And option number three will be the correct answer over here. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, you have to find out the error in this uh, the sentence, right? 
so there are some segments 1 2 3 4 and 5 so if there is no any error then you need to simply say that no error but if uh, error is there then you have to find out in which part error right so the fish is the favorite food of the bengalis okay so fish is not like a specific thing or something like that here we are just talking about the generic term like fish so like we are just simply saying fish is the favorite food of, food of bengalis so the fish it's not a special kind of fish this is a general term it's generic to bengalis right so the should not be there the should not be there and it's only the mistake here so in the option number one it will be the correct answer. let's come here the police is becoming more and more active to reduce crime or no error so here the error is this part is becoming why because like police is plural it is considered as like singular but it's plural like cattle uh, like cattle, scissors. These works like singular, but these are actually plural. So the plural form will use are becoming, not is. Right? So in the second part, there is an error. So B should be the correct answer over here. Right? So yeah, let's move on to the next question. The next question is you have to fill up this. The, a gap with a suitable bird. In the forest, we see a lion lying in the of a tree. Shadow, shade, shelter or protection. So the best suitable bird here is shade. In the forest, we saw a lion in the uh, lying in the shade of a tree. If tree ki chow mein, ek share later one. The next question is, we have to arrange these sequences to make a correct sentence. Or to make a meaningful sentence. He appeared but he was 30 to be 50 years old. So what we can do? He appeared. First of all we will take the subject. He appeared to be 50 years old. We can take it like this. To be 50 years old. But he was 30. He appeared to be 50 years old. But he was 30. So this should be the correct format. Like he appeared, it should be the first. He appeared to be. So it should be the second. 50 years old. So 1, 4, 5, 2 and 3. So it should be the correct option. 1, 4, 5, 2, 3. Option number D will be the correct answer over here. Now, the answer of this question you have to tell me in the comment section. Right? So let's move on to the next question. It's the last question. Okay. So we just need to make this paragraph in the correct sequence. Or we can say it's a paragraphal question. We have to arrange uh, these all sentences to make a meaningful paragraph. So let's arrange them. Farmers are composed in their field to make plants grow better. Compost can also be made from wood. So it's like some middleware. Anywhere in middle. Some people use these insects to catch fishes. It's kind of middle sentence. Some use to make compost. It is also like a, it's it's like in the middle part of something in continuous way. To make something continuous. To run something continuous. Now, so what should be the first? So first should be like uh, what we are talking about. Here we are talking about earthworms. Right. So earthworms are very useful insects. Now, we can take it like this. Earthworms are very useful insects. Some people use these insects to catch fishes. Some people use to com to make com uh, compost. So, 5, 3, 4. Now, farmers use compost in their field to make plants grow better. Compost can also be made from food waste, etc. So, 5, 3, 4, 1, 2 should be the correct uh, order of this sentence. Now, what should be the second sentence? So, third one. Option number C will be the correct answer. The third one will be the correct answer or the second sentence should be the third one. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's all for today. I hope this video is going to be very good for you for your tag in the preparation. And also, guys, uh, 
if you want more practice questions so it doesn't mean that if one question has been asked in exchanger or one question is set for exchanger then it cannot come in the tech main right now so what you can do is you can practice coding questions of exchanger as well for the tech mahindra round you can practice co uh, cognitive part questions for the tech mahindra round okay you just have to put in your effort i am putting my effort all right but apart from uh, that how much can you practice just do you have this opportunity just grab this opportunity don't miss out this opportunity right in the recession you have to first grab your job right so yeah that's all for today from my side we will meet in the next video till then bye bye take care